No parent should ever have to be afraid to send their child into the backyard to a neighborhood park or to a school because it might make them sick, yet this is the reality facing parents who live in communities where residents are under assault from diseases such as cancer. For example, in the 1990s, a cancer cluster was discovered in Toms River in New Jersey where children were being diagnosed with leukemia and brain cancer at alarmingly high rates. Toms River is the home of two Superfund sites and a number of industrial facilities. An investigation of Toms River by the state and centers for disease control and prevention found an association between mothers who drank contaminated water and children who developed leukemia. Now, science tells us that children are especially vulnerable when they encounter dangerous substances. And studies show as much as 5% of childhood cancers, 10% of neurobehavioral disorders, and 30% of childhood asthma cases are associated with hazardous chemicals. Uh, I will soon introduce an updated version of My Safe Chemicals Act, which would require that chemical manufacturers prove that their products are safe before those substances end up in our bodies. And I received helpful uh, feedback on the bill last year, and I will incorporate ideas that further improve the bill. And I'm uh, committed to working with the colleagues from both parties to modernize the Toxic Substances Control Act in a way that protects public health and works for businesses. But the need is too urgent to wait while our children continue to be exposed to untested chemicals. And I'm going to be working with Chairman Boxer to mark up a bill in the coming months.